Hello friends, today we are going to discuss another interview problem that is check if given under undirected graph is connected or not. Okay, so we have given a graph, uh, undirected graph and we have to determine whether the graph is connected or not. Okay, so um, first uh, let's understand what uh, determines the graph connectivity. So if each graph, each vertex of a graph is connected to one or multiple vertices then graph is connected okay and if even even there's a one vertex exist which is not connected to any vertex then it is called this disconnected graph okay so let's see uh, one example so here uh, we can see that all the vertices are connected okay and here uh, we can see that this is uh, four is not connected to any of the other vertices okay so let's uh, see few more examples uh, so yeah so here we can see that the graph is connected okay um, so when we say the graph is connected um, that means um, if you start traveling from any of the vertex right you will visit all the vertices and if you can visit all the vertices that means the graph is connected okay same here so um, here all the vertices are connected and here this is this one is not connected okay so this is um, disconnected disconnected okay and uh, this one uh, these these two vertex are connected and these two vertex are connected but uh, uh, these two are not connected okay so at this time I think uh, we all know that how we can how we are going to solve this problem the the solution is uh, graph traversal okay so we know the primarily there are two traversals uh, in a graph that is uh, now bfs and dfs okay so basically you can start you can pick any node right and start a traversal and <clears throat> once you finish the traversal if you have visited all the nodes that means the graph is connected right so for example um, here if you start from this node and uh, you can come down and then here here and then here so during this traversal you will visit all the nodes similarly here so from here if you start you can visit this uh, node and then you can visit other two nodes whereas if you um, you start the traversal from this node in this disconnected graph the only node you can visit is this one you cannot visit these nodes right so mm -hmm. yeah so this is uh, uh, this is how we'll solve this problem we can pick any traversal we want and how we'll keep track of the node we have visited during the traversal we can have uh, <clears throat> we can have an array let's say we can have a boolean array and uh, once we start once we um, visit a node we'll mark that node as visited or this is a boolean array so once we visit a particular node so let's say this is 0 1 2 3 and there is one more 4 0 1 2 3 4 so if we start from 0 we'll mark the <coughs> node node 0 as visited and then we can come down and visit the first mark this as true and so on so we'll mark all the node as visited so at the end we'll visit the uh, visit the uh, visited array this one and if any of the 
um, index is not marked as true that means uh, uh, the graph is disconnected so in this case uh, so we have 1 2 3 4 0 1 2 3 so let's say this is 0 1 2 3 so you can pick any node you want so let's say we pick this node so we'll start from 2 oh sorry start from 3 so we'll mark 3 as true and then we can uh, visit true and mark this as true okay and now we cannot go anywhere so these two uh, are still false right so that means the graph is disconnected okay so let's go back to the problem uh, let's read the approach uh, use uh, DFS so um, in our previous videos uh, uh, we have discussed uh, about the DFS and graph uh, I leave the link in the description um, you can visit uh, if you want so create a boolean visited array start a DFS from any index right from any index and mark the visit visited vertice, vertices in the visited array once the DFS is completed check the uh, check and iterate the visited array and count all the trues okay if the count is equal to the number of vertices means all the vertices are traveled during the bfs implies the graph is connected if the count is not equal to number of vertices implies all vertices are not traveled means the graph is not connected or disconnected okay so uh, let's look at the code um, so here uh, here we are using adjacency list uh, uh, to represent a graph uh, we have discussed uh, uh, different approaches uh, different ways to represent a graph uh, one of them is uh, adjacency list uh, I leave the link in the description and uh, visit uh, if needed okay uh, so this is our graph and this is a constructor we are constructing a graph here this is for the uh, adding an edge so since this is an undirected graph so when we say um, add an edge between source and destination so we'll add both the edges like forward edge and back ed backward edge okay so if this is one two so we'll add this and this so this is undirected means you can traverse in either direction okay now this is our function um, is connected okay so we are taking a graph and we are creating a visited boolean array okay now uh, start the dfs from index zero so here if you see we have a graph with it has five nodes okay or vertices so zero one one three 3, 2, okay, and then we are checking. So we have 0, 1, 0 to 1, 1 to 3, and 3 to 2. So we have we have 0, 1, 2, 3, so 0 to 1, and uh, 1 to 3 and 3 to 2 so 1 to 3 and 3 to 2 okay so this looks like a and there are five vertices okay so there is another uh, node here so this appears a disconnected graph because there is no edge um, between um, there's no edge which is connecting four to rest of the vertices yeah we have uh, we have five verti five vertices so this should print the graph is not uh, not connected and then uh, we are adding an edge between three and four so yeah between three and four so now the graph is connected so the given given graph is connected okay 
so let's yeah let's uh, understand this so we are starting a dfs uh, from the vertex zero okay so this is our dfs and uh, source is from where we are starting the um, uh, starting the traversal and adjacency list and visited array so uh, we'll mark this visited um, this source in the visited area is true so it is visited now travel all the neighbors okay so we are starting from zero so from zero we you can go to one you can go to two so now we are traveling all the neighbors okay so get the um, adjacency list size and get all the um, all the vertices uh, which you uh, which we can travel and um, if that neighbor is not visited okay we want to we don't want to go in loops okay like this so from zero we can go to one from two one we can go to two and from two we can again go to one okay so visited neighbor if it is false then make a recursive call right and then in in that recursive call that neighbor becomes the source so from zero we go to one okay so we make a recursive call with one and then when we start with one the one becomes the source so this will become one and then we'll mark one as visited in the visited array and then visit all the neighbors uh, from the vertex one and so on so once this is completed this uh, recursion is completed uh, we'll get back here and check if all the vertices are visited right so we know that number of vertices are uh, five so yeah we are vi we are traversing the visited array counting all the uh, if visited array uh, visited uh, array is marked true for a particular index we'll count that okay so we'll count all the trues and if number of vertices is equal to number of trues that means the count that means the gra graph is connected else the graph is not connected so this is how we can solve uh, this problem and determine whether the given graph is connected or not okay uh, you can run the code uh, by clicking this button later um, to understand this um, problem better uh, yeah now we can mark this problem as uh, completed and uh, yeah visit our website tutorialhorizon.com for uh, more interesting problems and yeah we'll see you guys in the next video bye bye